Today in our 2016 Jeep Compass, we're going to be taking a look at and also showing you how to install the DrawTight Max Frame Custom Fit Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver offering the 2 inch by 2 inch opening. Its part number is 75712. Here's what our hitch looks like installed on the vehicle. It gives us a really clean look. We've got a cross tube. It's going to be completely hidden behind our rear fascia here. See our receiver tube, it's going to come out to the 2 inch by 2 inch opening. Nice rounded reinforcement collar around the end there. You're going to do a minor trim on the panel itself here to allow that receiver tube to fit in there. Not a big deal, pretty easy to do. Now you'll see for safety chain connection points, we've got a rounded steel stock style connection. Plenty of room there on each side to get chains connected. And for attaching our accessories, we want to use the larger pinhole that's closer to the front of the vehicle. It's 5 eighths of an inch in diameter. Class 3 accessories are what we want to use to, uh, to secure our items. And we should have plenty of room to use just about any type that we'd want, whether it's a locking hitch pin, regular hitch pin, or anti-rattle device. The second smaller pinhole will come in play when you use the J-pin stabilization system. It's just one of many stabilizers out there. Now the hitch is going to offer us a 525 pound tongue weight rating. That will be the maximum downward force we can put here at our receiver tube opening. And it gives us a 3500 pound gross trailer weight rating. That's the total weight of our trailer and anything that we might load up on it. Of course we do want to check our owner's manual. We want to see what the compass is rated for and we can go off of whichever of those numbers are the lowest. And the hitch is not rated for use with weight distribution. Now a few measurements that are going to be helpful in selecting your ball mounts, bike racks, and hitch cargo carriers will be from the ground to the inside top edge of a receiver tube opening. We've got about 15 and a quarter inches. Then from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, it's about six. Now to begin our installation, we need to get an area cut out here on the rear fascia. As you can see, there was a hitch previously installed. It was a class two hitch. Customers decided to upgrade to a class three and with the particular class 3 we're using, we'll have to enlarge this slightly. Now if you're starting from square one, it's really easy to set it up. We measure from this push fastener to this push fastener, outside to outside, it's 14 inches. So we want to mark the center at 7 inches. Then from that center mark, you measure out each way an inch and 3 eighths. Make your mark, and that's going to be your outside lines. Now, for this particular installation, we need to measure up about three and a half inches. So you can see where that's going to hit, about right there. We're going to use a dry erase marker, get that marked on both sides. There. Now at this point, you would just trim up. I like to use the aviation shears or sheet metal shears because this stuff cuts really easily. You just want to cut up, follow that line all the way up. Then we'll want to cut straight across our line there. And then just kind of look it over, square it up if you need to. You can see my line here. I need to kind of trim that little corner off. All right, so now we've got our hole cut out here. It's time to lower this exhaust down to give us a little bit of room to work. I like to use a strap just to give it some support here. That way it's just not resting on the hangers up front. And then we've got two hangers to remove. One's going to be right up here on this front corner on the driver's side. And then it's going to be at the rear corner up here on the passenger side. It's a good idea to hit it with a little bit of spray lubricant. And that will generally make it fairly easy to slide off just by using a pry bar. Kind of going in from that back side. Just like that. Same thing on the passenger side here. And now I'm going to let a little slack out of my strap. Allow that to come down just slightly. Now we're going to grab a ratchet and a 10 millimeter socket. And we need to remove the four nuts holding our heat shield in place. We've got one, two, three, and then right up here is the fourth. Now 
Now in each of our frame rails, if we come, like this is our passenger side tire, if we come just inside, our frame rail runs along. This is that exhaust hanger we separated. Right behind that, you can see two holes that come through our frame. We're gonna take one of our bolts and we wanna place it through each of those holes. And then we're gonna press it back until it's flush. We're gonna do that for all four attachment points. We're going to have two on each side. They're going to be in the exact same location. All right, now we'll get our hitch raised up into position. Kind of start our driver's side there and then work it in. If we pull down on that exhaust a little bit, it'll kind of slide over the top. Now we want to move it kind of up and back to line up the holes with our side plates. Once we have the side plates lined up with our bolts, just going to push those through. Now for our forward attachment point, we need to place on one of the conical tooth washers. We want the teeth to face toward our hitch, and we're going to thread on one of the hex nuts. For the rear mounting location, we need to slide on one of the split ring lock washers and then follow that up with a hex nut. And we'll do the same thing over there on the driver's side. Now we'll want to snug down our hardware. And to do that, we're going to be using a 22 millimeter socket and wrench. All right, now we're gonna grab our torque wrench. We wanna look in the instructions. There we're gonna find the torque specifications. And we need to get all of our fasteners torqued down appropriately. Now we'll slide our heat shield back up into position. And we're just gonna resecure it with the nuts we removed earlier. Now we're ready to get the exhaust put back up into position. These hangers should just slide on by hand. If they give you any trouble, just hit them with a little more spray lubricant. There we go, nice and secure. You can see it's not hitting anything. It's always a good idea to check that. Now we'll pull our strap down and ready to start using that hitch. That's gonna complete our installation of the Draw Tight Custom Fit Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 75712 on our 2016 Jeep Compass.